Hello my dear students, welcome back to our J prep channel. Hope all of you are doing well. Today we will do the midpoint formula in the centroid formula of the triangle. Now what do you mean by midpoint formula? See there is a segment AB and M is the midpoint of this segment AB. Coordinates of point A are x1, y1 while the coordinates of point B are x2, y2 and M is the midpoint of this segment AB and we want to find out the coordinates of this M. Now to find the coordinates of M we need to know the section formula. Let us revise the section formula. Now let AB is a segment coordinates of this point A are x1, y1 while the coordinates of point B are x2, y2. Then let P is island between A and B. So I can say that P divides segment AB internally in the ratio M as to N. Then X coordinate of point P is X suffix P and the Y coordinate of point P is Y suffix P. So therefore X suffix P that is the X coordinate of point P can be written as m into other side x coordinate so this will become m x2 plus n into other side x coordinate plus n into other side x coordinate so this will be n x1 divided by m plus n same with y p that means the y coordinate of point p will be m into other side y coordinate that is m y2 plus n into other side y coordinate plus n y1 divided by m plus n. So this is this is the central formula. Means we can find the coordinates of point P which divides the given segment in the ratio m s to n by this formula. Now let's apply this formula to this case. Now here m is the midpoint. That means length am is same as length mb so if you take this as m and this as n this will be both one so m is equal to n equal to one so the section formula says that xp is equal to mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n so let x be the x coordinate of point m so this is one into other side x coordinate plus this one into other side x coordinate divided by m plus n so this is 1 plus 1 so therefore we get x is equal to x1 plus x2 upon 2 this is a very simple formula so therefore x coordinate of point m is x1 plus x2 upon 2 same way I can find out the y coordinate now y coordinate of point M is M into other side y coordinate. So this is 1 into y2 plus N into other side y coordinate that is 1 into y1 divided by M plus N means 1 plus 1. So therefore y coordinate is y1 plus y2 upon 2 means the y coordinate of point M is y1 plus y2 upon 2 then what are the coordinates of this m m is the midpoint of segment a b and their coordinates are x1 plus x2 upon 2 comma y1 plus y2 upon 2 so this gives the coordinates of midpoint so therefore this is known as the midpoint formula now let us find the coordinates of this centroid of a triangle now this a p c is a triangle coordinates of point a are x1 y1 coordinates of point b are x2 y2 while the coordinates of point c are x3 y3 now d is the midpoint of b c and this side BC is opposite to point A. So join this point A and point D. So this is the median. This is the median. 
Now we will have to find out the coordinates of point D as D is the midpoint of segment BC and that we can do it by the midpoint formula. Now F is the midpoint of AC and I will join B and F so this gives the another median. So AD is one median, BF is another median while CA is the third median and all the three medians miss this brown lines they meet at one point that is g and this point g is known as the centroid of a triangle and the interesting part of this centroid is that this centroid divides each median in the ratio 1 as to 1 this centroid g divides each median miss median ad in the ratio 2 as to 1 same way, median BF in the ratio 2 as to 1, then median CE in the ratio 2 as to 1. Now, how to find the coordinates of point G? That is by using the sections formula. What is the sections formula? M into other side X coordinate plus N into other side X coordinate divided by M plus N. Now, we want to find out the coordinates of G. So, I need to know the coordinates of A and coordinates of T. Why? Because G divides median AD in the ratio 2 as to 1. I know coordinates of A that is x1, y1 but I don't know coordinates of T. So I will first find out the coordinates of T. So to find the coordinates of D, as we know, D is the midpoint of segment BC. So therefore coordinates of D are xd is x2 plus x3 x2 plus x3 upon 2 and y coordinate of point d is y2 plus y3 upon 2 hence the coordinates of d that is xd comma yd those are x2 plus x3 upon 2 comma y2 plus y3 upon 2 now now we have come to the coordinates of point d we know coordinates of point a so i'll just draw this segment ad so this is segment ad coordinates of point d are xd comma yd while coordinates of point A are x1, y1 and G is the centroid which divides AD median into two parts M as to N in the ratio 2 as to 1. So therefore, coordinates of point G are written using the sections formula. The coordinates of G are x, G, y, G. So x, G is equal to 2 into other side x coordinate that is xd plus 1 into other side x coordinate that is x1 divided by 2 plus 1 so this gives 2 into now what is the value of xd that we have here x2 plus x3 upon 2 so therefore this is x2 plus x3 upon 2 plus x1 whole divided by 2 plus 1 that is 3 and this 2 will get cancelled and ultimately we get a formula for xg as x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 hence the x coordinate of the centroid g is x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 same way we can find out the y coordinate of point g so i will find out here now y coordinate of point g is m into other side y coordinate so therefore this is 2 into other side y coordinate 2 into yd plus n into other side y coordinate that is 1 into y1 divided by 2 plus 1 but what is the value of yd the value of yd is here hence this will be 2 into y2 plus y3 upon 2 plus y1 
divided by 2 plus 1 is 3 and this 2 will get cancelled and ultimately the value of yg is y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 hence the y coordinate of the centroid is given by this formula y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 hence the coordinates of centroid are j x coordinate is x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 comma y coordinate is y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 so this gives the coordinates of this centroid of a triangle i hope all of you understood this true formula and students to understand math better i strongly recommend all of you to subscribe our channel thank you